Uh, yesterday, we heard about the celebrations to mark the 100th anniversary of some women in the UK getting the right to vote. But did you know that the Isle of Man was more than 30 years ahead? This is fascinating, isn't it? Some women on the island, some, were enfranchised 37 years before the UK. Indeed, it's believed they were the first women anywhere in the world to be given the vote. Kelly Foran has been delving into history. Across the UK, there were protests, petitions, riots. But in the middle of the Irish Sea, things were very different. Women got the vote decades earlier. Sarah Woods was this the first woman in the world to vote. She signed the Douglas Poll book for the House of Keys election in 1881. A year earlier, Richard Sherwood, a politician, proposed household suffrage across the Isle of Man. The debate at which the idea of extending the vote to women um, was passed uh, started off simply as um, a small measure to change the terms of male suffrage. It was all just changing one word, male, to person. Newspaper articles show that Lydia Becker of the Manchester Society for Women's Suffrage picked up on this and headed straight to the island to hold public talks, and it was voted through. It seemed the reform was too radical for the governor at the time, so he added criteria that women who owned property in their own right, so unmarried or widowed, could vote. It was revolutionary, innovative, but very low-key. At the 1881 Isle of Man election, 700 women were enfranchised. It was about 10% of all voters. I think Timwald maybe wouldn't have passed that law if they'd known they were the first in the world. But it's really cool they did. And did this start the ball rolling elsewhere? This is Emmeline Pankhurst, pictured on the Isle of Man. Why? Well, her mother was Manx. And overlooking the sea, this was the family home. Many believe that Sophia Golden, Emmeline's mother, was well aware of what was happening here, and that's what influenced her family. She must have known that hang on, they don't do like they don't do this on the Isle of Man. Women have the vote. And I think that's where she's got in, involved with it. Um, it's come from the Isle of Man. Although no women on the island went to prison or on hunger strike for their rights, the fact remains that the rest of the world had to follow when it came to women getting the vote. Kelly Foran, BBC Northwest Tonight, the Isle of Man.